Perhaps we can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim. Or Midgard, even. Becky and Svana could use a company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. The Berserker Gravestone. Prepare for another fight. symbol of their betrayal, their cruelty personified. The sooner we are done with it, the better. If I can make peace with my blades. I suppose... You're right. If Skofnun rids the land of these bastards, I can stomach its presence a bit longer. Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland, at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hard Gates. You were there? No. Is that regret in your voice? 
I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. Something is coming, and it's not happy. whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now. You know, Freyer loved to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. I wonder, how'd these two pups end up yoked to the sled? Ever try flying in a sandstorm? I imagine Freyr showed the Dark Elves that Gulan could be trained to pull a plow. They must have found new uses for them once the sandstorm arrived. I imagine they're now bred to aid in traveling the surface. Hole. I see it. I can't remember which god raised her dander up. It does not matter. Doesn't it? If rage is all that remains, her reasons are irrelevant. <laughs> Wait a bloody moment. Is that... Thor's hammer. And his daughter. I'll make you proud, Dad. Well, good for her. Well, how about that? Didn't I tell y'all there'd be something to see? Feels half crazy to say it, but I got a good feeling about that rude girl. Never mind in what family she came from. <laughs> I quite agree. She's an impressive young woman. I thought you might. Why, well, I ain't never seen anyone quite so awestruck as when she laid eyes on you back at the hole. Like, meeting her idol. 
She was apparently quite eager to learn from all the Valkyries. Now that she has Mjolnir, I expect her next stop will be to begin training with Sigrun. I think Brock and Sindri would be happy knowing that hammer's finally with someone worthy to wield it. And a future Valkyrie, no less. I bring stone. Ooh, uh, yeah, I can sure make something out of that. Where'd you get it? Trolls. Oh, trolls! Look at you! Brother, I've heard my share of stories about your homeland. But I've also heard that you once fought in a tournament. I fought in many contests. But this particular one, I heard you did battle with beasts, scoundrels, princesses, the undead, automatons, and history's greatest musician. That's not... that's not true, is it? I would not speak of this. Fair enough, brother. Soldiers. Rick. We'll always be loyal to him, alive or dead. It is a matter of honor. Yes, we'll continue to follow his orders and keep the realms under his thumb. Not for long, they won't. Mommy and Daddy. Time the noose tight to defend us to Odin to bask in his light. Did they just see what I think they said? Yes. Aha! Another fallen piece of Asgard. Something seems a bit different about this one. Different? Dunno. I've just a funny feeling. Your analytical mind knows no bounds. Hang on a minute. Is this a prison? It would seem so. Let's continue. Might be something useful inside. This 
place goes deep. We should head downward. Ah, yes. I'm sure there's nothing especially dangerous at the bottom of an Asgardian prison. If the Ain Harriar survived Ragnarok, perhaps some of the inmates did as well. Let us find out. <laughs> I do not, sadly. Of course, the Ainher Yard disappeared a fair few dwarven rebels during the occupation. I suspect this is one of them. something here. I know it. We should find a way to the cell on the other side. Who was he? I don't know. A gardener, perhaps? Dreamshade is difficult to keep alive, even under the best conditions, but this... He gave all his strength to keep it alive. Then it is right. You should have it. Careful, brother. These prisoners may not be as grateful for their freedom as one would hope. Oh, well, you're very bloody welcome. <laughs>
Deal. Namir? Is that you, old friend? In all the important ways, aye. There was such a commotion. If Odin learns what you've done... Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are? His name is Kratos. Kratos. I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know you from somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to me. Until then. I appreciate your concern, but I'm fine. I guess we all are. But I would love to be alone for a moment. You believe that was truly him? It's hard to trust anything after what we've been through. But with Odin gone, I have no cause to doubt it. Our paths will cross again. Of that, I'm sure. Where to go? That's an elf, but not a particularly high-ranking one. So what did Odin have to gain by imprisoning them? I'd say information, but why keep them locked up afterward? Why not just kill them? Why, that's the dwarven sound device Sindri used during the Battle of Ragnarok. We might still find use for it yet. Well, now we know what this prison's for. This is where Odin stashed those he would camouflage himself as. Makes sense. If you're going to imitate someone, you wouldn't want them walking around. Why not kill them? He must need them alive in order to assume their form. Aye. 
Odin likely wanted Tyr dead for a multitude of reasons, but he knew Tyr would be more useful alive. Your god of war has truly returned. What now? He'll want to stretch his legs, I imagine. Imprisonment stokes wonderlust. Not that I need to remind any of us of that. Freya, here. I did not think anything grew here. is drawn to the gravestone. Backed up with the Aesir, aye. Another of my spectacular failures. In capturing these spirits, you seek redemption. I just want to send these bloody monsters to hell where they belong. Wouldn't exactly call it redemption. I know I'll feel better once it's over. Someone's crying. Sinmara. Ah, Sutter's love. Should we try to tell her what happened? She knows.
There, that's got to be the last drop of all. Thing to worry about. You worry? Oh, never while you're around, oh warrior of rippling muscle. There he is, the man who tamed Here. Garm. A thousand congratulations. Now, what else might they, they look quite healthy? So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or... <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree, it had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. Got destroyed. Where will the Einherjar go? Valhalla exists both inside and outside of Asgard. Who knows what became of it? Aye. <laughs> Suppose they'll have to find rest somewhere. <laughs> you saved them, Freya. I did nothing. No. I did nothing. Scratching tally marks into a cell while the world ended around them. You returned to your people. You endured their hatred. You helped them become more. Freyr and his soldiers... They survived. They endured. But there's a reason the tide turned when the goddess Freya returned home. Your love of this place... I can feel it. Smell it in the breeze. Anyone can. That love makes you strong. Makes your people strong. It's why you won. I... Thank you.
Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Come here. Lady Sif, Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, Your Majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Aenryar. They'll help us rebuild. They're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleating at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? Kratos! Where can we set up the farm How do you feel? Sorry I missed all the action. I would like to have seen Asgard fall. Ah, you are in no condition. Besides, you've done more than enough for the cause. You have earned your rest. Yes. I think it may be time for this old warrior to finally lay down his sword and find a quiet place to retire. And leave behind all your friends. I will miss their companionship, yes. But there will soon be much rebuilding here. Not exactly the quiet I'm looking for. Actually, I know somebody who's living alone in a quiet place who could use your help and companionship. We should talk. I would like that. those who wish you dead. Greetings to you as well. What he meant to say, dear Birger, is we believe there are some assassins looking for you. Fellow travelers, perhaps. Oh. So my judgment is at hand. I walked the path of the travelers for many years until I learned it was all lies spread by Odin. I'd hoped my brothers would join me. They will not. I'm sorry my actions have brought violence down on you. If you run into any of my former brothers, do what you must. I see another realm tear from Garn. Shall we close it? At last, sir. Reef. <laughs> This is not over. Oh! <laughs> 
sure our work is far from over. We're heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not gonna be very happy with me. No. <clears throat> Charlie. Oh. I'm sorry, I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Is someone inside? Yes. Warming up already, isn't it? Birger. Hello. You came. Indeed. Seemed a perfect place to retire. Maybe write a book. It is your home if you wish me to leave. No. It's good that he has someone. Will you stay? There is still much to be done. Then we will wait. And when it is time to rest, I will keep the hearth warm. Thank you, Birger. Look, a flower. Merkweed. Goodbye, Charlie. <laughs> Thank goodness we needn't revisit the other bit of Helheim. The one where you're confronted with your worst memories. What would you have done if we'd needed to return there? Stayed home. Definitely. Speak with Rasfulgar. Why do you speak the ancient tongue after all? Rasberg Garmulesa Kerku. There's six tears to close and not to expect any thanks for closing them. The tears should never have been opened. I think that's our cue to go. 